Hi everybody, this is uh, No More Room in Hell, free game on Steam. We're going to be play, playing a little bit of this today. It's been a while, so we're going to be checking out and see if there's anything new and cool um, that we can fuck with. God, my guy gets tired out easily. Oh hey, gone. So you probably notice that there's this little thing that says round starting in the middle of this. And that's because before it actually lets you start it as this little load up thing. So don't really worry about grabbing anything when it says that. You have to worry about running and getting shit afterwards. But when it's first loading up, just don't don't even worry about it. Where's what did I got? Oh cool. cool. Okay. So now we're gonna get into the game proper. So as you can tell where you start out, uh, this is the map called Chinatown. Let's see, does it say? No, it doesn't say. But this is the map called Chinatown. So we're just going to go over some ba real basic stuff here real quick. You know, pick up, pick up stuff is E. Moving around is W. Is w -A -S -D, you know. Typical Half-Life 2 mod stuff. Uh, different kinds of ammo, good different kinds of guns. And it's actually pretty specific. Like this right here, this is the MP5. Let me show you. The MP5 only takes... American Eagle rounds. And you probably can't see it very well, but right there in the corner where I just checked, after I checked my ammo, it showed um, that it takes American Eagle rounds, the American Eagle 9mm rounds. So, that's the first thing to note. And I'm just going to pick up a couple of times the ammo to show you. And you can see there's 45 ammo, there's 357 ammo, there's 7.62 ammo. And different, different weapons have different ammo. And I'm just gonna drop this. And you know, this also takes nine millimeter. There's a Glock and a Beretta nine, Beretta nine that takes that. This takes you. You'll see it. It'll be like this little magazine, and it's five point five six millimeters. Um, cool thing with this gun is, is you can kind of maybe see there in the scope that you you can see it there, but you can also keep track. This is one of the only guns that lets you keep track of a cursor because you can actually see where you're going to hit ahead of time thanks to that scope. So that's that can be very useful. All right, so that so you'll be you'll kind of have to mess around to figure out what what guns use what because I know the Magnum uses this but something else also uses that. Oh yeah, the Winchester, the if the Winchester lever action rifle also uses that. Oh, that extra. Then they dropped it. And this here, this here is the, um, some pills. Because you can get infected, and if I, if I get infected, I'll, I'll show you. But you'll get, um, lines on the side, on the sides of your screen. Okay. And you also be, have the ability to bleed out, so you're going to want to be careful. Now, I kind of did something stupid here, because I probably should have taken a melee weapon, because they are, by and large, much more useful. But we're just going to run, we're just going to run through... And on Chinatown, there's two ways to go. And, oh my god, there's lots of them. There's, there's two ways to go. And, now see, if I had gone right, I could have gotten to the gas can, which helps me complete my objective. So that would have been useful. Um, but this way, I can go and I can get guns if I need to. And that's, uh... Oh, that's a 22 rifle. I don't know how well you can see that. That's a 22 rifle. It's a baseball bat. I'm not going to get that. Let's see. Oh, don't lag me. Don't lag on me. So the zombies can grab you, and they can hold you and just bite you and chew on you until you die. The best thing to do with most of them is to aim for the head if you can. Yeah, look at me. You killed him. Killing little kids. Little kids are runners. Little kids can't grab you, but if you if you don't see them right away, they can be a big problem. I'm just gonna drop this because do I still have any ammo for that? Nope, I do not. I'm gonna drop that. Get the 45. 45 is one of the best. If you can get a, uh, let me see if I can find one. If you can find the Colt, then it is it is pretty much one of the best weapons in this game. Uh, pick up health stuff. What is this? Oh, that's a 357. I don't particularly care for this because I've noted... Oh, well, there's ammo right here, so I'm going to take it. Ooh, 19 rounds? Ammo is actually... 
Well, it's not as sparse as it used to be. Now, there was an older version of the game in which finding pretty much any ammo at all was nearly impossible. Like, you just pretty much... Why am I moving so slowly? You just pretty much almost couldn't even do it. Kind of look at this a little bit of lag. I got too much shit going on on my computer. Let me see. But you... Oh, you also got to pretty much aim for the head. I think I said that, but I'm just making sure. Because if you don't aim for the head, like... Oh, fuck. How much do I have? I'm carrying too much shit. Okay, what kind of ammo am I carrying that's weighing me down? Oh, I'm carrying 60... 45 rounds. I'm just going to get run out, run out of here. But yeah, that that that's something that you're going to want to take note of. You're going to want to take note and check, and you check by holding down R until he checks his ammo. And you're going you're gonna to definitely want to keep track of how much ammo you have, because if you don't, this is a game that will fuck you over really fast. You're, you're, usually you're going to want a melee weapon, but since I was going, since I'm currently, as you can see, on the server alone, I didn't grab a melee weapon. Wasn't too fucking worried. Dude, I swear a lot. I wasn't too worried about it. So, yeah. Oh, if you have bad aim, this is not the game for you. Ugh. I should probably drop all that, uh... 7.62 ammunition I have. I don't really need it, but we're just we're just gonna go we're just gonna go for it right now. We're just gonna carry it with us. Oh, and I wish. Wait, can you? Uh, is this new? Can you open that? Doesn't look like it. I wish you could because. Oh, something about this map too. Is this part? If you don't have adequate ammo, we'll get you stuck almost every time. Because they'll grab you and they'll pull you in and then you won't be able to do anything about it. It's kind of interesting though because you can be really close to them and not have them grab you. So it's not like if you're just in this general radius. It's more like if they reach out to you and grab you. Sometimes you can just kind of walk by. Oh, but see, then I got too cocky. And so, but this is how you complete the first part of Chinatown. And you're gonna you're, you want to go in and you want to where's the fucking just gotta mash it in there until it goes in the right spot I guess. And you gotta press the button on there, and then after a minute that will light up and you can open up and you can move to the next part. No, oh, I gotta be loud. Shit. <laughs> Nineteen rounds, by the way. As much as I have, I'm using them right this second. Not actually a lot of ammo. Okay, there it's open. Oh, something I should probably tell you, too, is... I've heard this. I don't know if this is 100% true. But I've heard that the more guns you use, the more times you shoot, it actually means the more zombies you're going to have to deal with overall. Oh, and one other thing, that's just because it just popped across my mind. If a zombie gets close and you just want to push him away without shooting him or whatever, just hit V, and it'll knock him back. So let's see if I can... I'm not infected, thankfully. Whoa, that was close. Oh, look at the frame rate just shit itself. Oh, and this is a shitty part. If you don't have a flashlight, you have to be really careful because there you can run into all kinds of zombies. And this is where you're going to go next. You're going to go in here, and there's going to be a button. And this is the midway point. So once you get to the button in here that I'm about to show you, people will respawn if you make it this far. Oh, shit. Oh, I got two and one. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm, I am not being very conservative with my ammo usage right now. I should probably become more conservative with that, but, you know. Fuck it. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of holding out to get a 45, because 45 is just one of the best. Now, so I'm going to stop and say real quick, is that if you're going through this part and you have room, pick up this. It's very useful. It's la useful for later. Just gonna try, I'm trying to just... Get through. Oh, fuck. Oh, and these guys can... I should probably be aiming, but... 